Hi, today we are going to look at the tools menu on the Starfront program. Those of you who follow in along may notice that we have left out the reports menu. That menu will be covered in a future video once we have done some designs on the Starfront program. Then we'll have a look at what reports are available on those designs that we've done. Alright, so today the tools menu, you click on the icon at the top that says tools and you'll see the following menu that will pop up. So let's go through each of these options on the tools menu. The first option is to perform a backup. Now remember every time you exit the program, Starfront will automatically do a backup for you. This is to do an additional backup. You will notice that the backup defaults to the Wispico SF4 backup folder. Now that is this default folder. So if you do your backup there, you are going to override the backup that the program does automatically. So what I suggest you do is you go back one level. Let's go, go to the Wispico folder, uh, create yourself a new folder. Let's call this backup um, and today's date, which is the 13th of the 4th. 2020 and then select that folder and do your backup into that folder. Now the backup actually has got two stages. Number one, it will backup all of your contracts. So it'll tell, tell you how many contracts will be saved on your computer and then it'll backup all of those contracts for you. And the second phase is to backup your user settings. So then you'll get a message which says contract saved to disk. Then it will say where do you wish to put your user settings. Now I'm going to choose the same folder, the backup of the 13th of the 4th, 2020, and then click on the save button. Now this will save all my user settings and my prices to the disk. So any prices that I've changed, anything that I've done, I can get back from that backup. Now once you've done that backup, even if you have to reinstall the Starfront program, you can go use your second icon here, which is the restore function. Click on that restore button. It will again default to the SF4 backup. So I will go back one level to the speaker directory. I'll find that folder backup 13th of the 4th, 2020. Then I'll select that file and I'll just say open. And it will then reload all of the contracts onto my computer. And after that, it'll want to load, reload my user settings. So again, I go to my backup folder where I've saved that backup, select that file, and so open, and it will restore all my user settings. So that's your backup and restore functions that are available to you. The next option is if you just want to save your contracts. So what I want to do is I've got a, a new machine and I want to transfer all my contracts from the current machine over to a new machine, then I can use the second, sorry, the third icon here, which says save all contracts. Click on that save all contracts. Once again, it says where do you want to save it? And if I wish to save it to a flash stick, I can take a flash stick. I can pop the flash stick into my machine. Let's close that window that pops up. And now what I can do is I can go and say, I want to save it. My, my flash stick is called Creelco and I can save all of my contracts to that folder. Okay, so once again, it'll tell you once those contracts have been saved. And if I want to now load those contracts onto a new machine, I can take my flash stick out of my machine, put it into my new PC, and then select the option load all. Say which, where do you want to load from? And I'll choose my, DVD, uh, my uh, flash stick and I will restore all my contracts from that flash deck. Okay, so that is your save all and your load all options. The next option is to save user settings. What that does is it takes any customization that you've made to the program, including any defaults you've changed, any hardware you've added, any finishes you've added, any glazing that you've added, any prices that you've changed, and it saves that to your preferred backup directory, wherever you choose to do your backup. So that would be my save user settings, all right? And similarly, I would be able to load those user settings. Now, a potential use of that 
is to say, all right, I want to set up one computer in the office. I want to put all my, my discounts, my wastage figures, my markups, all my financial figures. I want to go and add all the glass. I want to add some extra finishes, some extra hardware, change some defaults. Once I've set up and configured that machine, instead of now repeating that process on multiple machines, I can just save those user settings to a flash stick, take this flash stick to the other computers and say load user settings and all the machines will be synchronized with the exact same options. So that's a very powerful feature that's available to you. The next option you've got is an option to purge old contracts. Now you may have noticed on this machine I've got over 4,000 contracts. Okay, so what you can do is you can say, I want to purchase any contracts older than, let's say, the first of the first 2020. So it'll filter out that. So these are all the contracts that, are, that it's going to go and um, purge for me. Okay, and then I can say, all right, I want to purge those. So once you click on the tick, make sure you wish to come purge 3,869 contracts, yes, okay, and then it will ask me where do I want to put this. Now it will automatically create you a folder under the Wispeco directory called purge with the dates of those files that you wanted to purge. So anything from the 1st of the 1st 2020 is going to be purged into that folder. So you'll see it will now work through that list of all of the contracts that we've decided to purge and effectively what it's going to do is it's going to back up those contracts into that folder called purge 01-01-2020 and then it's going to physically remove all of those contracts from my machine. I can at any stage go and get those contracts back so it's basically doing a backup plus a delete all of those contracts for you automatically. Alright, and then it will tell you that there are, in this case, 3869 contracts that are purged. Now if I go into my contracts menu and open, you will see I have much fewer contracts. So it's cleaned out those contracts for me, but it has done a backup. If I wish to restore those purged contracts, I can, under my tools menu, I can reload those. And then when I reload them, I must tell it to go to that folder purge01 and it will load from that folder. Okay, so that's how we purge old contracts and reload old contracts. Then the next option is to reset data. Now, what reset data does, let me start it running for you, is it scans through all of your existing contracts, basically cleans up any incomplete designs it cleans up any user defaults that were set that haven't been used. It goes through various options. So it is recommended that you do this about once a week on your computer. Okay. When you notice on exit in the program that your backup process is taking longer and longer, once that backup starts taking too long, then do the reset data. It will just improve the performance of your machine. Okay. The next option is our spreadsheets. Now, supplied together with Starfront is a handful of spreadsheets. Uh, the first one, the Krialco Inertia Calculator, is a little tool that you can use to do inertia calculations outside of the program. This will be covered in the advanced wind load video, still to be published. There's a fabricator example and a fabricator worksheet. Those are used when you're setting up your costing of the program. And there's an old inertia spreadsheet, which was the original spreadsheet that was developed before we created the Wispico inertia calculator. All of these will be covered on a future lesson, so we're not going to go into them now. Okay. Then the next icon is warnings. All right. Warnings allows you to turn all your warnings back on. So while you're working in Starfront, every now and then it will pop up a warning, which will say warning... Uh, this is what is going to happen if you if you change this and then there's a checkbox which says put a tick here if you don't want to see that warning again if I want to now turn all the warnings back on I can select that option and now all my warnings are turned back on automatically ok 
Okay, and then we have an export to the SmartCut glass optimization package. You need to purchase SmartCut. It's a standalone program available from Stargate. It interfaces with Starfront. And basically what you can do is you can choose a contract that you're working on. You can give it a name of what you want to call that file and you can simply say export that information. That will then take all of the glass sizes and all the different types of glass it will put it into a file that can be read by SmartCut and then you can import it into SmartCut and you don't have to type all those sizes back into your glass optimization. Okay, then there's a button to change stockist or CDP. So you might have the situation that you are buying from a certain Creelco distribution partner and then either that company closes down or it loses their CDP status or you decide you want to buy someone from someone different. You can utilize this option to go in and select any stockist that is available through the Wispico list. Once you select that stockist, then you need to put in the, the password for that stockist and then you can... And then the final button on the tools menu is the support button. So we have been through the support button on a previous video, but just to show you here, help on registering and reactivating Starfront, you can click um, you can send emails to this email address here or click here to reactivate your Starfront. So you can actually reactivate Starfront online now. That's both registering the program and reactivating the program. Those processes will be covered in the video on the help menu. If you need help on an aluminium system or a cutting list, then you can contact with speaker at that number there. If you need help on the Starfront program, that's a Stargate office number, that's the support email address. We advise for the fastest results to email your team viewer ID and password to support at Stargate with a brief description of the problem. There's always someone monitoring that email and they will log on and they will fix the problem for you straight away. And finally, training. If you need help on training, you can call this number, ask for Natasha, or email Natasha at Stargate. Now we utilize the TeamViewer program to do the remote support. So if you don't have TeamViewer, there's a link at the bottom. Click here to download TeamViewer. That will open your Internet Explorer on the page where you can download TeamViewer. All right, so there's no excuses not to get that done. Okay, great, that's the tools menu. So once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see each other soon in another video. Bye-bye.